Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 15th of May. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SFGFS at least you know, ensembles. Maybe we're trying to go the weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for June. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment, just to say that first a video say was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, and we've also uh, released Jeremy Friday. So please check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe on vid. So thank you so very much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Right, OK, we're going to start off with the century temperature. Now look at this. The dates are back. Wow, wow, wow. So uh, we can now see very easily... Um, what date we're up to. So the CT is currently sitting at 11.2, which is bang on the 61 to 1990 average. Uh, and that is provisional to yesterday. To the 4th of May, goodness gracious me, that's so uh, good, isn't it? So <laughs> that's going to make it easier to work out uh, what, uh, you know, what, what date we're uh, up to. So thank you so much to uh, the folks at Hadley for putting the date back. Uh, yeah, so eleven point two, which is bang on the uh, long term average. Right, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks, Gloucester again today. The red line being the first year upper air temperature average for Gloucester. Starting off above average with those upper air temperatures at the moment. Going to stay that way um, through the coronation weekend into the beginning of next week. And then we're going to see the upper air temperatures lowering um, any time from like mid next week onwards, those upper air temperatures. Are getting cooler, uh, and there's no sort of any sort of particularly uh, hot weather or warm, you know, very warm weather coming up. It does look as though we might have a little bit of a push up in the temperature there sometime around the 13th to the 15th of May. That could be associated with some low pressure, though, so uh, that that might just be like a warm set coming in with an area of low pressure or something. Um, and then after that, it looks a little bit on the cool side uh, once again. Precipitation wise, looks very unsettled from beginning to end. Regular rainfall spikes for the beginning of the uh, graph, right way through to the end of the grass so there will be further showers if not longer spells of rain to come the temperature anomaly from the 5th to the 13th of may going to be a little bit above average for uk and i not excessive but slightly above normal and precipitation anomalies let's just flip that over precipitation anomalies from the 5th to the 13th of may going to be average or wetter than normal away from northern scotland where it does look a little bit drier anyway Later in from that from Earth, Nordschool.net shows uh, that uh, we're uh, bringing low pressure in uh, today. I'm drawing up some quite warm air from southwest, though. So you can see that the air is originating from down here and pushing in that direction with low pressure low pressures out to the Atlantic. So it's turning wet, but also turning uh, rather warm as well. Okay, let's go through the chart data then. So we have the latest UK that Euro run is looking for uh, Monday. This is Coronation Monday, of course, with some more low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. So we're looking rather mixed with showers, long spells of rain for the early part of next week. Showery midweek as well as a showery trough push through there on Wednesday. And then Thursday, Friday, perhaps higher pressure starting to bridge up from the southwest. That does look like... Quite a nice extension from the Azores high. That should bring something a little bit drier and warmer into the south anyway. Icon, again, looking rather mixed for Monday and Tuesday. Troughs of low pressure and what not got an actual area of low pressure there to the southeast on Wednesday. That looks more unsettled than what UK Met is showing. Um, however, by the end of the Icon run, which gets us to this time next week, we have got a little bit of a bridge building up. From the Azores high, possibly bring something a little bit drier and warmer into the south. Uh, but GFS midnight run again, looking much and much just a showery trough moving across the country through the early part of next week. Second half of next week starts to see higher pressure bridging up from the southwest, turning a little bit drier and uh, warmer. Then and then we're back into showery conditions, particularly for the north as we go into the weekend of the 13th. 14th May. Day county for 15th of May. Low pressure brings some outbreaks of rain into the north. As you dry boat down the south. Beyond that, looks quite mixed. Low pressure never far away. No further showers along the spells of rain. And often quite cool as well with winds in from the northwest. Uh, but you have their 6th Again, uh, showing showery conditions for Bank Friday Monday into Tuesday. 
Wednesday, first Friday, we'll see high pressure reaching up from the south. There should be lots of dry weather coming through with that. And basically, uh, we go into a drier spell actually at the end of next week and into the weekend of the 13th, 14th of May with a bit of an extension from the Azores High. However, by day 10, low pressure comes back in from the northwest, turning things more unsettled and even quite cold as we go in the second half of May. We've got a little bit of a northerly there. Um, so cool and showery uh, with the uh, GFS 6Z into the extended range. If you enjoyed the video, please do you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. But I'm going for you so just today. So we now only need around 40 subscribers to get ourselves to 15.8k. Uh, Getting ever closer to 15.8k. Thank you so much, everybody, for the subs. And if you could uh, subscribe to our channel and tell your friends and family to subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. You'll see future weather content if you do that, including future videos and future live streams as well. GM once more with an area of low pressure being shocked. This is on Bank Holiday Monday. Very Tuesday and Wednesday. Looks rather showery with winds in from a coolish northwest direction. Uh, Thursday, Friday, nice ridge of high pressure building up from the southwest to uh, northern parts. Europe being quite a lot dry. Relatively warm weather, especially so down in the south. That looks quite pleasant. I have to say, for uh, the weekend of 13th, 14th of May, uh, that high pressure is sticking close to the country uh, by day 10, actually, but probably a bit showery at that point. I've had a bit, a bit of a movement within the model output today, more towards high pressure as we're approaching the middle part of May. So a little bit drier and warmer with a lot of today's model output, I think, compared to yesterday. Uh, so a bit of a change within the model output today. Uh, and then the ECW data, finally, uh, for the chart data, looking like this. Once more, rubber showery for Bank Holiday Monday. Uh, but it's rather unsettled and showery, quite cool dish as well. Take us into the middle part of next week. And then some higher pressure again, building up from the southwest as we're going into weekend of the 13th and the 14th of May. So bring quite a bit of dry weather with it. By day 10, possibly back to something slightly cooler and a little bit more showery again. That's the 15th of May, which gets us to uh, day 10. This is my precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. So a lot of heavy showers today. And then, of course, we bring this wet weather up from the south tomorrow, which is going to be, uh, you know, a little bit disappointing for the coronation. Uh, a little bit drier, but still some heavy showers left in the east for Sunday. But Sunday is the best day of the uh, weekend, I think. And they've got all of this rain piling in on Sunday night into Monday morning, giving a fairly wet sort of Monday, so certainly Monday morning anyway, bank holiday Monday morning across the country. That clears to showers through Monday afternoon. Uh, and then lots of showers, could be some long spells, rain mixed in throughout much of next week. By the time we get to the end of next week, though, time to turn dry, especially so in the south. Still some rain at times, though, further uh, northwards. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the 15th of May from the Icelandic Met Office. 20 members of the ECM ensembles have below average heights, low pressure to our north and northwest, above average heights, high pressure to our west and southwest. And winds are coming in from a westerly direction. So looking rather showering with that uh, and a little bit on the cool side as well that does include the control and the operational run 18 members of the ecm ensembles with low pressure to the northwest high pressure to the southwest so again i think coming in off the atlantic looks a little bit mixed and 13 with quite deep low pressure over to the east of the country that's the most unsettled and coolest option that would get the wind into uh, a northwest to southeast alignment in two week time, these are the options that we've got. This will get us to the 20th of May. 19 members of the ECM ensembles have low pressure to the north and east, the north northeast, high pressure to the west southwest. Again, that was rather showery, a little bit cool. 12 with low pressure between Greenland and Scotland, high pressure down towards France. Winds coming in from the west. We've got 11 with high pressure. From Iceland to Scandinavia, low pressure is across France, a wind coming in from the east. That will bring the wettest weather into the south. And then nine with high pressure 
over the northwest of Europe. Should be lots of dry. Oh, just a bit my turn. Should be lots of dry and uh, and uh, dry weather with that. Not necessarily all that warm because the wind will be coming around the high pressures from the northeast probably. But certainly should be quite dry. And in, with, in the May sunshine in, in the time of year, 20th of May, that should bring uh, a lot of warm weather with it really to be honest. Uh, right, CFSB2, lastly, so this uh, CFS is looking for June, 700 millibar height anomaly today. Suggests quite a warm June, but could be a bit volatile. I've got low pressure in the Atlantic, high pressure is to our east. Um, so we've actually got quite a wall of high pressure sitting to the east. Now what this does, of course, it brings the wind up from a southerly direction. So that's a warm wind direction, of course, could bring some Spanish plumes, so it might even turn hot but at times but of course with low pressure in the atlantic that provides the energy potentially for uh for fungi breakdowns or whatnot the temperature not only is warm in those orange to red colors so on the temperature temperature anomaly scale with like couple degrees above average there and uh, precipitation wise there's no signal really um it would depend whether the ridge or below you know whether high or below has the uh, ascendancy, I think, with that as to whether we're relatively dry and warm or whether we're quite wet and warm with uh, frequent thunder. And we won't know that until we get to the time frame. But it was quite an interesting June, anyway, quite an interesting start to summer 2023 there. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that, everybody. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about girls, whether well, it's awesome to subscribe too. We thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. As I say, we're only in around 40 subscribers now to get ourselves to 15.8k. Uh, ultimate target is 16k, of course, at the moment, but the min target is for is at 15.8k, so if you could give us a sub, that would be amazing. Right, just to tell you what's coming up tomorrow, well, actually, over back on the weekend, because, of course, it is the coronation weekend. Tomorrow is coronation day, and we've got a long weekend from Saturday to uh, Monday to go. However, things that Gaz Lovins will be saying exactly as they would normally do so on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So, um, you know, we're going to be, we're going to be a little bit of an uh, um, alternative to uh, all of the coronation stuff on the telly. I thought, you know, give people a bit of an alternative over this long weekend. Not everybody, you know, wants to sit and watch uh, the coronation um, on all of the channels, you know, for, for three days. So I thought, why not just stick to what we normally do uh, for this particular bank holiday. So tomorrow we will have the 6am UK weather forecast. We will have the ECFWF 42-day forecast. There's going to be the weekend forecast and a, a 10 to 14 day as well. On Sunday, um, we are going to have the 6am UK weather forecast. We will have the next summer update, which I think we're up to update number 9 with that now. And there'll be a 10 to 14 day event as well. And then on uh, Bank Holiday Monday, not a historic video, just a regular upload day for Monday. So again, 6am UK weather forecast, a 10 to 14 day. And uh, there will be live streaming on Monday evening at 8pm. And uh, we'll see how we've all got on over the, over the long weekend. And maybe have a chat about Coronation, I don't know. And uh, we'll show you the 12Z and some long range in, uh, in the live stream as well on uh, Monday. And that's going to be absolutely great. So I shall see you over the weekend for our uh, video uploads and also for our live stream on Monday evening. There's a channel member live stream to come at uh, 7 p.m. this evening, by the way. So if you're a channel member and you're around the channel at 7 p.m., then, then uh, you know, check in. And uh, and uh, we'll have a channel member uh, live stream then. Um, but for this video and for today's videos, that is all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.